Well, one of the things you may be asked to do on your Facebook page is to allow someone to manage or market it for you. And what you can do there is actually give them access to your page uh, quite easily. So on your page itself, if you go down to the page settings down here, and in page settings, just go to the page roles. In page roles, uh, you can see that I got uh, two set up at the moment. I've got myself as an admin, and I've got myself actually uh, another page as an editor. The to sign a new page, go to the assign a new page role here, and you get the options to sign someone as an editor, moderator, analyst, or a custom. The two you really only need is an editor or an admin, and the only one out of those two I'd say is an editor. An editor would be able to post for you, uh, comment for you, like posts, and so on and so forth. Um, whereas an admin would have full control over the page, so they'd be able to delete the page. So rather than give someone admin access, unless you really, really know them, just give them editor access. Now, if you do know the person, then they're on your personal friends list, then you can just type them a name in. And if you don't have them on your personal friends list, then you have to put in their email address. And it's normally the email address that they use to sign into Facebook with. So if I want uh, Charmaine to uh, my wife to take over as an editor on here, for example, or just type in her name to find it, and then I click on add. Okay, it's then gonna come up with this. Now this password is the password I use to log into my Facebook, my personal Facebook. And that's it, it's done. So if I scroll down, you can see that I've got Charmaine now as pending as an editor and an invitation has been sent to her. She will get notification of that on her Facebook. And once she's accepted it, she'll then be able to manage and edit this page as she sees fit. Don't forget to click on the subscribe button to be notified of more great videos from The Business Machine.